Triple H's first WrestleMania. Ain't looking too good. It's not looking too good. I'll start it off because I know Kenny probably ain't been watching. Who asked? I know I knew exactly Mark where he was gonna start. And almost. <laughs> Who guys? This is Santi Numarel. And you're listening to Wrestling Behind the Curtain. Y'all already know who this is, boy Chance. Yeah, I see. You know what I mean? It's Kenzo the Great up in here. You know what I mean? Probably got my man on his day off, so he got he working now. You know what I mean? But got a good little thing right now. You already saw the thumbnail, so you already know what it is. So it's not gonna be no surprise. But I didn't, I didn't tell Kenny what it's gonna be. So I want to see his natural reaction. But do the promos, get them out of the way. Join the Discord. It's free. Get the merch. It's in the description box. Join the Patreon. It's in the description box. Helps the channel go, helps y'all get giveaways on the goodish. If y'all don't want no giveaways, no tickets, none like that, that's cool. Don't join it. That's that's on y'all. You know what I mean? We don't do videos every day, but we do the channel every day. But we don't do videos every day because because we ain't like everybody else. You know what I mean? Plus, you ain't showing us enough love with the likes, subscribes, comments, and all the good stuff for me to come back every day. You know what I mean? Y'all want me, me to work? Then show me you want me to work. Other than that, I'm gonna be chilling. So cancel do your little promos real quick, and then we'll get to it. All right, it's your boy, Kenzo. You know, we just wrapped up the Why You Should Be Watching series for Black History Month. Y'all go check that out. It's the last day of Black History Month today. Um, So, yeah, three videos. They all came out on Fridays. Y'all go check those out. Gonna have some more Why You Should Be Watching coming out soon as we, you know, figure out what's next on the agenda. Maybe, you know, for women's history or Latino history. We got some stuff coming up, so we can figure that out soon. Um, I do have, you know, the Go For Two channel. Again, still on hiatus, but it's coming back soon. So, you, you know, y'all stay stick to and follow me on socials, and y'all see what's popping with that. Right. Without no further ado, you know what I mean, take from my best friend Kenny Omega. You know what I mean? Check it out. Triple H's first WrestleMania. Ain't looking too good. It's not looking too good. I'll start it off because I know Kenny probably ain't been watching. Who asked? I know I knew exactly Mark where he was gonna start. And almost. <laughs> ooh. Like the quote knew exactly. Ooh, ooh. Who asked for that? And I thought I it was, I thought it was a joke. Like when almost asked for it, I said, Oh, cool. You know what I'm saying? About to do a little joke. <coughs> you know what I mean? Brock's gonna come on there and then he's gonna just talk. It's like almost ain't nothing. And then maybe Bobby Lashley gonna come back out and we're gonna get the real program. But then I saw the segment, and then I saw Bob come out and do his segment with Bray. And I was like, oh, so we really going to get Brock and Almost. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. Like, people all over the internet saying, oh, you know, it's a event, it's a event segment. Um, I'm not going to say it couldn't be, but I am under the notion, too, of what people, somebody else said that, why every time something sucks, it's got to be Vince. It's got to be Vince, yeah. Like, yeah. Triple, like, like Triple H can't do no, no, no dirt. Like he can't miss. Yeah. <clears throat> So I don't know who asked for this match because we had Gunther. That didn't happen, I guess. We had uh, your man. I just posted on YouTube yesterday, which they said would be a dream match, which I didn't think about until I posted. I said, like, oh, this, this would be fire because they would beat the shit out of each other. The dude that went against Gunther, the dragon dude. Uh, dragon off, yeah. We could have had him. That didn't happen. So... Someone said, oh, you know, it's, it's, it's so Brock could put over almost. I don't know that he would want to, but even if that is what he would want to do, it's no, it's going to get him over. Let me tell you something, bro. He done fought Bobby <laughs> twice. Nothing changed. He done fought Braun. Nothing changed. So what's going to change with Brock, who don't really sell for people that he don't like, and he don't really like fucking with, with big people, Paul's, so what's going to make him put almost so over in this match if it really is going down the way that they're advertising it to because the promos are all down that 
Amos is about to be a superstar. Please, please, please enlighten me. So, we talk about this all the time with wrestling, right? If the in ring ain't the best, then the booking got to be better. And as you said, this we we we've, we've booked them as strong as possible, and it's not believable because the in ring is just that bad. There's nothing else. There's, there's no other problems. I mean, okay, that's not fair. There's other problems. The promo ain't good either. But we've gotten over that as a problem by itself with plenty of other people. But again, Ricochet is not even good on the roster, and look what he can do in the ring without the promo. So this guy has no promo. He definitely not Ricochet in the ring. But what we got left, the Mystique. No, we we're over big guys. That that that's not the thing anymore. No. That and it's part of the reason why people probably been blaming Vince, even though Vince ain't around no more. It's because we used to, oh, well, you see a big guy, and even if he ain't good, it's probably because Vince stuck him in there because Vince like the big guys. But I'm sorry to tell you, folks, um, almost been a working project for quite some time. So, uh, one of the few people to skip NXT in case y'all forget, and that's has always been within uh Triple H. I mean, he was at the performance center, but he wasn't on NXT. That's a Triple H thing for sure. So this has always been Triple H's miss, actually, even when Vince was completely in charge. We just haven't talked about it that much. But yeah, almost is what what we call the like the opposite of book and proof. Like there's nothing you could do to make like to make us believe. Nothing. To be honest, to be honest, he started probably as strong as he was ever gonna start at the beginning when he was the bodyguard for Raw Underground. That was his best booking. <laughs> it's been downhill ever since the more they made him talk and the more they made him when he was in there and he had to start, you know, make sure no one came in and then he what tossed a couple people out two the two times or whatever. That was, was as believable as it got. As soon as he went from whatever that guy's name, because I don't even think he had a name at that time, to becoming almost, it's it's been downhill ever since. Um, for me personally, again, I don't want no one losing their job. I think we talk about it all the time. But for me personally, I just I'm never gonna really believe. It. Yeah, again, he could be in like a three way with Brock and Braun or Brock and Bray and beat them both, and I'll still be sitting here like, well, what's next? I really don't care. We don't we have nothing to care about. Yeah, like. Again, just, hey, by the way, if y'all haven't seen the video of, of Chance doing this solo, <laughs> his facial reaction, I just looked at some of them again. It's hilarious, bro. You you look completely like not even not disgusted, but just upset. Like no one asked for this. No one. No, I I mean, even in the darkest edges of Twitter, I haven't seen this one. So I don't know who this one's for. And I will say I didn't think this I did always think this was real. You said you did it. I did always think it was real. I just didn't think it was gonna be on WrestleMania. I thought we were gonna get this out of the way. In between Rumble and Mania, but we, I guess, like I guess not. I didn't want to take too long on this, but just to expand on what you said and to preference and to piggyback, I never want anybody to be fired. I always want people to have work. True. I'm not talking about you personally because supposedly almost has a really good story of how he became a WWE superstar, and it's actually pretty inspiring. So that's cool. But as far as what's happening. It's just not working. Like he's had MVP as a mentor. He he worked with AJ Styles, and nothing happened there either. Nothing. Like he just he he doesn't. As of right now, have. I mean, I'm not a wrestler, but from my years of watching, he doesn't have. At least as a fan or a supporter, I don't. I'm not rushing to see him. Like at least at one point, I wanted to see Braun dominate. I don't care to see almost like that. The acting in the ring isn't great. Like. The moveset isn't cool. He, like I said, Brock with big people, he doesn't really fare well in matches with big people. So, And lately, Brock doesn't like he's been in an urge to sell things. So I don't know. That's yeah. gonna, oh, that, that that Bobby Lashley thing, that didn't look great. I don't know. This is going to be, it's gonna be a, I, mean, I mean, this is going to be kind of, this is wild. Now that I thought about it, you know, we talk about this all the time. That even on WrestleMania, WWE has, you know, food and pee break matches. Is Brock about to be a food break match? This is insane. I didn't even think about it until like, like I was like, wait. Because I was gonna, I was about to say, oh, this could be a match for pee take a break. That's about wait. Brock is in this match. This is insane. But I mean, he might not carry the way he's he's getting paid. But uh, yeah, like you said, we, we don't need to stay on this too long. Uh let's let's go on to some other stuff. Uh so last mm-hmm. night, I don't know if you watched thank you for the update uh old ass computer. If you guys haven't, well, if Kennedy didn't watch it, and if you guys don't watch. So, I love Big Time Bex. I love Old School Leader that came out with the draws, you know what I mean? Like, not being sexist or anything. It, it was just a good look at the time. Because, you know, we were younger, and we just we just love the look. So, I have no hate for him because Lita could go. Uh, Becky could definitely go. I love her. 
But they beat damage control last night for the tag team straps. Mm-hmm. Let me them this is gonna be this I took you see it. This is this is a disappointing card. So this is them let, let me get it off. Let, let my man cook right here. You know what I mean? Put put the go ahead, go ahead. Let me cook. Bay, all right, so Bailey comes with the group, right? Granted, maybe it's the old school philosophy. Triple A's heels are supposed to lose because you guys say this all the time, especially Kenny. When I say I don't understand why heels always losing, and then it's supposed to be oh, remember, but heels always lose. That's, that's the whole point. Bailey came with the, not not always, but there's got to be a Bailey came with the super group, right? Mm-hmm. I've never once thought so far that this group was in control of anything. Bailey hasn't been the champ yet. So your leader don't win. Your leader catching dubs. I mean, L's. So that doesn't make sense to me. You caught one, that was cool. I forgot which match we said, but was it what was the last was it the last match that chat with Bianca? I said they just need to switch now. Let's go. They didn't. So right. she just, she just losing. I don't well, I'll get to her match that I think is gonna probably happen. But she's been catching L, so that doesn't make any sense. Damage control won. Then they lost the straps. Twitter went crazy. They won them right back. And then they just lost them again. Now, I said on the YouTube community tab, so if y'all ain't subscribed, hit the subscribe now while you watch. I guess, and I also said on Twitter and Discord, like, but anywho, I guess. The tag team titles ain't meant shit. So it kind of don't really matter. And maybe this is their way of trying to make it relevant. But in the grand schemes of the belts don't really mean nothing, I guess the switch off don't really mean nothing. But what is Leela and Becky going to elevate it? Because Leela's a part-timer. And no shade, but every time I see her wrestle, she gets she gets the chance. You still got it, but it ain't like she going going. She's just not fucking up. Yeah. So how, how far can they carry those belts to actually mean something if they're gonna mean something? So I don't get the decision, but obviously that means we're going to get Shayna, Ronda versus Becky and Lita. Which why do I want to see Ronda and Shayna as tag team champs? This, I, I ain't gonna lie, this is what, when once I started realizing what this was gonna be about, I was like, okay, when you get to this section, this one, we really gonna cook. Because this right here is a perfect example of everything we have been complaining about with the women's division and the tag division specifically for I, as long as we I've been on this channel. Because, and we said how much worse they made it when they made NXT get their own tag belts. Because part of, the, it was really good when we had Technically, whatever, SmackDown, Raw is separate divisions. That's one division, blah, 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 blah. And NXT. So call it two, call it three, whatever, which way you want to slice that. That was a lot. It wasn't great. But it, because well, again, they didn't even use it all the time. But once they started using it, and it became a vehicle for people to go down there, even people who didn't really want to be tag champs. But like when Sasha and Bailey had it, they just want to fuck with people. So they went down to NXT to do that because they had the belts. So it made it more interesting. But once they gave te- NXT their own belts and it was like, well, what what tag teams are left? We had Natalia, whatever tag team she was in at the time. It was like four tag teams, I think we counted. How many tag teams we got now? But now we got what four four different ones? I mean, so we don't have a division to preside over. The belts don't have a prestige because how long I mean, what's the last tag champs that we respect? Probably Sasha and Baby, like I just said. And how long ago was that? Two years ago now? Maybe maybe three, honestly. I don't, I don't even know. Like so the belts don't have prestige. The division has no one. And current champs, oh, oh, I mean, okay, we love Bex, like you said. It's Becky Lynch and Lita. Like, let's not, let's not get it twisted. But what have they done for the past six months, you could say, as a team or individually? I mean, Lita wasn't here six months ago. God. And then Ronda and Shayna. This is a tag team. Almost ain't been on TV either. <laughs> and, he, and, he <laughs> just get, and he just gets a WrestleMania match. <laughs> That's <laughs> also true. Like, we talked about it was it. Shayna was supposed to have a, a stable with mm-hmm. grapplers or whatever. I forgot what the name was supposed to be. It was a couple other people in it. I honestly, yeah, that was a decent idea. She was coming up from NXT at the time. 
it would have made sense. They didn't do it. And it's actually, they said at one point she's going to go against Rondo, stable, stable, see what happens. Never happened, blah, 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 whatever. Can't complain. Rondo went away. She came back. But this is the thing. So we're going to take it from Damage Control, which had a story going, I guess. You you have a point where they, they, they didn't book that right. But when they first came around, they came more as a nuisance than as a power. They were supposed to be a superstar team. They were supposed to be, Bailey's a superstar, and she has these two people, and she's going to bring them up a little bit. And those was, you know, be annoying, get into a couple. Okay, we were really close to, if we got a couple more stables in WWE, we're close to the days of what, in Survivor Series, where it was faction, 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 let's go. But we didn't, we didn't quite get there. Again, maybe that's my personal bias. Let's not be too upset about that. But then, like you said, they lose. You give it to Lita and Becky. Okay, cool. Lita and Becky are supposed to lose to Shane and Ronda. Why do we want them to win it off of these? Like, I don't understand. And then, okay, they win it. What, we go, they're going to trade it again because that's three out of the, what, four or five teams in the division. And we're, we're already done. So it's not just about how bad this match probably might be because let's, let's talk about it. Like, I don't think that this is not, it's not to say it was gonna, it's going to be bad, but it's not WrestleMania quality. We're talking about WrestleMania here. We're talking about Triple H's first WrestleMania if we're talking about on top of that. Like, this is what we wanted. I mean, we talked about two matches on the card, and they both seem to be break matches to me so far. That's not a good sign, like you said. But then, okay, let's let's even ignore that, which we really don't. WrestleMania is your season finale, blah, 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 all that. What the hell are we going to do after? Because, I mean, who do we want to take it off of them to? Who's supposed to be believable to it? Yes, they haven't been on TV a lot. But these are two supposed to be two of the, in like, real-life feared women in the roster. These two are, like, these two can actually break, you know, a regular person's bones as a team. You have to come up with a really compelling story for those two as heels to lose it to a good baby face now, which again I can't even name. So I I'm really confused on everything about this, but at the same time, it, it, again, this everything we've been saying about it, this division specifically and the booking of it and the, the talent on it. Because they got, even when they had a great women's roster, which I could argue that they probably they have it's a little bit less now, but even when they had a great roster, the tag team division was not good. So now you have a lesser roster and less attention on the tag team division. And again, might as well just have one belt again. At least maybe that'll open up some possibilities. That's the only way I can say to save this. Scrap the NXT belts. But again, I don't see Triple H doing that. Or they can either hire a whole bunch of women, which I don't know if that's going to happen. I, I don't see them open up the... Because they, they, they've said it. Remember, they said it. Nick Khan said it when on the, the those those quarterly meetings they have with the financials. They're not going back to what that did, what they did before the pandemic, which is where they bought up a whole bunch of talent because they knew stuff wasn't working and AEW was on the rise at the time. They're not doing that again. They're not talent hogging, they claim. They're going to start building their own stars. Well, not building. Well, I mean, that's not the words they use. That's my words. The, the performance center is back at work. That's what they said. Well, they're, not they're doing it the women. old school way. They're not bringing women. Uh, they need to get rid of the belts and maybe make it like an intercontinental belt for the women or like a U.S. belt for the women. Yeah, just forget forget women's tag team wrestling. You you haven't been doing it well. Why do it? And all? you don't have enough at all. You have you have enough for a secondary belt. We barely have the re- the men's tag division isn't good. Oh okay, yeah, we're gonna get to that too. But right. you know what I'm saying. Um, next on the card that doesn't look good is Bray and, Bo- and Bobby. No shade to Bray because obviously we love Bray and we wanted him back. But this is so upsetting. The fear is the, this is and this is all projected if what seems to be going the way that it's going because if they hear the feedback and you know because they listen to the channel it looks and they decided to switch it up and this doesn't happen in court didn't happen so just disregard but if it looks like it's going to be for what they say everyone has a problem with Bray because they say that they don't come out well nothing against Bobby but when I watch Bobby wrestle. I'm not really in awe. Right. And it's not because he can't wrestle. Like, don't get me wrong, because in back, Bobby was crazy. It's just he's more of a powerhouse. So right. it's, it's kind of like boom, 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 you're done. Bray is like a storyteller in the ring. I don't see him doing the storytelling with Bray to where it's going to come out right. And then are you going to beat Bray? Because then what was the point of being, bringing Bray? Because then now he's back on the losing track. So that means you're going to win. I mean, you're going to lose. But then if you lose, or you go from there. I don't get this booking either. And we haven't even had the whole Uncle Howdy shit pop out yet. So what are we doing? I I love that Bray Bray gets to have time and development with his character. But right now, it's moving slow as a turn. 
I need to know what's happening. Who's on yeah, the Where's the faction? Like, are you going to be like, are you going to be a disruptor or you? We don't even know what's going on. Yeah, this is a bit confusing too. Um, as far as the faction goes, it is a bit of now slow burn is not even the word. That's an understatement. But I mean, if they take it slow and it doesn't end like damage control, I guess we could give them credit because damage control popped on the scene and look what they've done to them so far. But at the same time, let's let's consider Bobby a uh, booking proof, right? Let's say he's all, we already know what he is. He's a powerhouse, like you said. And on any, on, if this was football, we'd say any given Sunday he could be anybody on the roster. Because I mean, if we're being honest, because in real life he probably could. And you know, wrestling wise, there's he has the credibility. He had a very very strong year. Yes, it was two years ago, but it was dominant. The the ma- he had the master lock back. Yes, he called it the hurt lock, but he had that thing back, and it was if he was in it, it literally had folks. It didn't just beat folks. They had people out for like two three weeks after getting put in it. So that was pretty good booking at the time. I let's give them credit for what credit do. But since then, Bobby's become kind of like a part-timer used to elevate other people. But even if you consider that to be true, how do you elevate Bray through Bobby, of all people? Like I, don't, I just don't see it. Like you said, because you can't build that story. <laughs> and if you already said everybody comes out the other end, Rosie ex- I mean, doesn't come out the other end, Rosie, except Bray, because that's what we said over and over again in the past, which makes the chemistry a little harder, which if you can't work with Bray with the chemistry, What's the point at all? So I really don't know on this one. Um, but I, this one, I'm, I'm willing to give him some tips because it's Bray, I guess. The match isn't here yet, so let's give him some time. But you're on thin ice, let's, let's say. The other two we've already given up on, they're going to be on the card, whatever. But this one, maybe they could they could spice it up before we get there. It's still some time. Continuing with why are we doing this theme, I think we're finally going to get the Ray versus Dominic. Now, I will give one. Bone, I will give one bone here. Ah, oh. Dominic has done better character wise. Like if he's playing into, he knows that people don't like him, so he he's going with it. So I'll give him that. Character wise, he's been a lot better than when he first came out because the face thing wasn't working, I guess. But and they, uh, another bone because I love Ray. No disrespect, Ray. You're you're a legend. You always will be. I get the sentimental value of having a match with your son on the grandest stage of all time and in Hollywood. So I get it. You know, gotta get kids. I, I I understand. But who who said y'all would really love to see Ray versus Dom? Who now? People have asked for this match, but. They asked for it like last SummerSlam. Like oh, you're talking, when it was talking about what we said we should have they should have been pulled it like three years yeah, ago. <laughs> when they should have turned on each other. I will say when when on SmackDown when Charlotte told uh, when he said I have a real Hispanic poppy at home, it, it's so funny how everyone makes fun of how not Hispanic Dominic is. I'm I'm sorry, because both of his parents think Hispanic as hell. Because they are. So it's it's funny to me. I don't know, personally. But outside of that moment on SmackDown and uh on Dada's Twitter. Comments because he put yeah, it and, but, and but but for, yeah, those, those are funny. Um, yeah, this match is not again. This is what we talk about not WrestleMania worthy. The story could have been if they did it right, if they did it quicker, if they would that's out the water. What did I say before? That's not good out the ring. The booking, which is it, it's got to be in good in ring. Ray is a great, we, we all know that. Dominic, you had your moment in the sun. I've been sticking up for you a long time. But it's been obvious since then that Seth carried the match. Everyone was like, oh, my God. And we, on the biggest, well, almost the second biggest stage possible, it was the third biggest stage to me, I Royal Rumble over some slam, whatever. Second biggest stage possible, blah, blah, debut, basically. And he had a great match. And it's after all the Kane shenanigans, blah, blah, blah. He's doing great for the business. I was almost one of those people. I was just saying, I pumped the brakes a little bit. So, well, he wasn't that great. But also, let's give him some, you know, he's young. Give him some time. You know, he's rushing takes some time to get it just because he's got you know, the genes don't mean he's just going to be good like that. That's going to work like that. Yes, we've seen second generation, third generations have a better chance, but we've also seen Ted DiBiase Jr. Let's let's remember people. So, Dominic, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's you've had your chance. You just, he's not, you're not that guy. Maybe being taller has taken away your family's wrestling talent. I don't know how tall the rest of the Mysterios are. Obviously, Ray isn't, and he's the most famous. But 
We had a time where we could have pulled the we, again. They they already did everything they can with this. We've already they already planted the seeds a little bit of the the Guerrero stuff. We let that die. That was a good thing they could have done. They didn't do it. If this took too long, and you thought with the more time since they took so long, Dominic would have got you know maybe better in the ring. Nope. This this does nothing for me either. So we have what four matches, three P breaks out here. That's crazy. I hope I hope this is. They might make they might switch the WrestleMania back to one night if that's the case. Well, you got all these duds on here. I did point out that Triple H said that he wants the card to be shorter this year. And then shorter as in one day or shorter as well, he didn't, they didn't specify the day, but not everyone is gonna get a match like they used to. And they're not gonna do the battle royal just to give the people that don't get a day shine. He wants to make it shorter and quicker. So you're definitely gonna make it quicker because it is night one or I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not attending. They, they, they are still business savvy enough to know how to mix them throughout the days so they have enough. They they know what they're doing on that aspect usually, listen, but if there's not no good matches, then I don't know how they're gonna do that. But um, listen, my last bone to dominate <sighs> at the WrestleMania, and I'm being I'm being one hundred percent. Like I said, I don't wrestle. I mean, I think I looked the part though, but I don't wrestle, right? I still could. You never know. I might pick it up. Kenny Mike, take some time off. Get swole. Cause you have a body frame. You definitely have the body frame. And I've seen your trainer because he's a dude that works out with your dad and has the meal prep shit. So I've seen your trainer. He, he can go. Get swole. Get tatted. You saying get the look at least. Get the look, right? But but I'm not, I'm not going to stop there. I know you guys have a plethora. It's a good word, right? Plethora? Plethora of lucha libre people in your circle, your Rolodex, whatever, that you can call the train. Just take just take some time. Get the yeah, I mean, you don't need the money. I'll tell you that much. Shit. Take the time. Get the look. Get the work in. Come back Come back as either a crazy-ass, like, psycho heel or come save the day for somebody that really needs somebody to help them and but just look crazy. Because you already know the internet's going to do The women are going to love you. Oh my God! You seen you seen you seen Spanish Dawn? You seen Poppy? Like woo! You know they're gonna go crazy. So just come back on some Roman shit. Be a heel, but look the part and get that work in, and then you're gonna make a lot a lot of people believe. But this this current current character, I just I, I don't even like the ring gear. Well, he just he's just right now his character is. Um, how do I describe this without being too? Mean? Just be real. He's just a hanger on now. He's like, he's just, it, we care about Dominic for one of two reasons, neither of which are very good. So, it's not his ring here. So. Uh, moving on to his faction. If true, I get it. Maybe it's a send off, but I don't want to see Edge versus Finn. It could potentially be in contention a match of the night because I'm not going to shit on it. Because Finn can go, and Edge, at whatever age he is, can always go because he's still giving great matches. But as far as the storyline, like, I feel like it's dragged so long. I still don't like the fact that you took Edge. Are, out. We, are we getting three Judgment Day matches on this card? Jesus Christ, how is this? Is, if if current current bookings are continue, to, yeah, continue. Then that's the way that it looks. That uh, this is bleak. I don't. I still don't like the fact that that they took out Edge and put Finn in charge. That just doesn't make sense from all aspects. And I, I believe the current reason they took Edge off was because they wanted a face because they didn't have enough faces at the time. It just doesn't make any sense. Out of all the groups to make, you could have gave Finn Bullet Club back or at least the club back, and you put him in Judgment Day. It just doesn't make sense to me. But here we are. I don't care to see it. I don't want to talk about that alone. But like I said. They have the potential to be match of the night because they are dope. But from a supporting standpoint, I'm not really invested in the storyline or wanting to see it go any longer. Like Edge and Beth just beat Rhea and Finn, right? So why do I still why do I want to see this again? That, that should have been the end of it. 
Yeah, I don't see why this is continuing, especially on WrestleMania of all places. It just doesn't make sense. We just saw it, like you said. The only um, thing I can think I, of, like I said, like maybe Edge's last WrestleMania. We give the matches on WrestleMania for sentimentality now. That's crazy. That's crazy. See, I've talked about this for a long time. This is what happens when pay per views as a business model dies. These guys don't have to sell pay per views anymore. WrestleMania, you don't have to buy WrestleMania. If you're gonna watch WrestleMania, if you planned on it before, if you're gonna plan on, you already have Peacock. That's what the problem is. Peacock doesn't need new set. I've had Peacock forever, and now I got it for free again with Xfinity because they just gave it to me for free anyway. I literally canceled what I was on and. They just they're paying for it for whatever they're not paying for it anymore. I'm pretty sure plenty of people have that same deal. I have Peacock, they I have going, Peacock for the office. Like, I'm sure a, people going, I'm saying that you probably already have Peacock. If, like there's everyone who wants Peacock. There's not there's even the originals. What you want? You want fresh prints? Maybe. Hey, Peacock I like that like like show. No, I'm saying. But I, I'm, as a vehicle, you aren't there aren't Peacock isn't getting new subscribers by the thousands every week. Yeah. And if they are, it definitely isn't new wrestling fans. So that's part of the problem here. They don't have to sell WrestleMania. And they're not trying. Does this sound sellable to you? <laughs> if, if, if WrestleMania was still $50 for a pay-per-view, especially with the pay-per-views for boxing and all the other stuff that's gone, those have increased. So you would assume yeah. WrestleMania would be more expensive. Would you pay $70 for this? No. I'm not going to lie. The only thing that says it to me is Roman versus Cody. A seventy dollar match right there, then. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But it just the whole finally losing type thing. But cool. So we're in agreement. So you don't want to say that. I'll throw bones. Um, Charlotte versus Rhea should be good. Mm-hmm. I told you I don't want. We'll do predictions later. But this is obviously not a prediction. I want Charlotte to win, but it makes no sense for Rhea to lose. Like if they're gonna book her and take it to the next level, it makes especially no to Charlotte again. Specifically, yeah. yeah, so it, it makes no sense. Uh, Bianca versus Oscar. I don't really like that matchup because I wanted Bianca versus Charlotte, but from a point of view of Bianca had Sasha, Bianca had Becky, now Bianca has Oscar. Has- you know what? I just thought of I might have to go back and check the timeline again. You think they did Oscar Bianca because of Mercedes Monet versus Kyrie? The match look kind of similar as far as wrestling styles go. I didn't think about it till just now, but Mercedes Monet Kyrie was money. So they mm-hmm. probably think they could do it better. They, I mean, Bianca might not be better than Sasha, but Oscar's definitely better than Kyrie. So that is a great. Uh... So that could be a good match. Even if we didn't ask for it, at least it could be good. They could go. So that what is, we got? That is great. You said Roman Cole. So we, we got like three, maybe four good matches. Roman versus Cole is obviously probably going to steal the show because. Depending on still where they're gonna go there, like Cody has to win. But if he doesn't, how are you gonna sell not that not happening? But we'll get there. Um our predictions. The Usos were Sammy and Kevin. I'm 50 50. Because I love the Usos, obviously, because those Sammy and Kevin together is cool. And then if they're gonna take the, the belts off, then it's a cool moment. You know what I mean? So depending how that story plays out. The tag division is so trash. Oh my god. Yeah. And the, belt, and the belts are still trash. Like, get rid of those two. Like, let's one belt undisputed, something I don't know. But so, but I'm at least 50 50 with that. Um, Drew versus Gunther is being teased. So, if that happens, I would kill him, man. I thought Drew dog had a mighty ass falling. Not to say anything wrong with Gunther. Maybe, Drew's, like, gonna, maybe Drew's gonna win the belt so he can get the cheer that he wanted. It's so, I mean, this is not, I mean, I'm not even going to blame WWE for this. I mean, they didn't cause the pandemic. This man, he just missed his time in the sun. It's so crazy. I would have had it be. I would have rather have seen Sheamus running back or Brock with Gunther, but here we are with Drew. So that's iffy. I believe if not hurt, Logan Paul and Seth could put a banger out. That, sure. that, that seems interesting. And like I said on previous with other people, Logan's been good because he's great, he's athletic, and he it looks like it comes natural to him, but he has that good opponents that can carry him. Seth is another one that can carry him through the match. So granted that he doesn't get hurt because I don't really know the extensiveness of shit that he suffered, but obviously I guess since he's back, 
But if he doesn't get hurt and both stay healthy, I think it could be a banger. Um, what's the last one? John Cena versus Austin. Seems promising. As long as John doesn't get hurt again, or I mean, not again, but doesn't get hurt because he's older, it's a good passing of the torch. Torch. Like old school wrestling has always been like when you had that dude and he gives it to the next dude. Because everyone's always said that, at least I have. Austin reminds me of John, and there's a lot of similarities there. So why not let John put him over, send him on his way, launch Austin? Because you guys said, I put it on, on the YouTube. You guys were crying that Triple H buried him. But we've heard nothing but Austin, 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 Austin lately. So I'm glad you might have worked. I'm glad y'all thought he got buried because he, he's definitely been like the hottest he's ever been. So I'm ready to see him get elevated to the next level. But yeah, we'll probably have like three or four out of a two night. It's going to be bleak. So I ask you, which was the whole point of this episode. If you, had to rate, if you had to rate the card, we'll do we'll do a smaller scale, one to five. If you had to rate the card in Triple H's first WrestleMania, if this indeed is the card, where are you at? It's two out of five for me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can say the same thing. It's not looking good. When you said five instead of ten, I'm like it's gonna sound even worse because with ten, I might have given him. A, I might have given him a fifty. Just, just to be a little not so, but I'm not, I can't give him a 60, which is what three out of five is. So yeah, he definitely gonna have to get to the 40. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not looking good. Still got time, like I said. I don't have a lot of too much faith, but it's, it's brave. So maybe the brave thing could be a little improved. Maybe not a match, but again, we always the last chorus of is we got that one thing that's maybe not a match per se, but they do the the box like structure for this just again. If we go if we ask what we looking towards. In thirty four days or thirty three, something like that. Again, they got some time. Do I have a lot of faith? No, because they've let me down over and over and over again. But they have time. Let's see what they do. Um again, it's WWE cards have been changed. They could throw us for some whammies in here. I mean, again, six months ago we wouldn't think we'd be talking about leader on the WrestleMania card, did we? So we really oh, got yeah, it. That, that was that's probably gonna be a rumored one. Trish versus Bailey. I can see that. Since since Trish and the fair. No, well, again, a lot of potential here, but it's mostly potential. That's and we saying that because it's not no certified bangers. We can say so. they gotta get they gotta get they gotta get Montez on the car some kind of way. Oh, that be that that would help a lot. It would, but do you have thirty days to put a. Strap, but, I mean, if, uh, no. if this is the card I need y'all to watch to finally do what you do, put in the comments. How does the card rate to y'all? Does it look good? Are you that interested and that invested? What match do you like? Which matches don't you like? What would you have rather saw? Make sure you like the video. Tell your people to come on. But, you know, join the Discord, eat the merch, do all the good shit, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Sure. I'll, let, I'll let Kenny do his parts. I'll do my parts and you already know. Well, we, we gave you the raw facts, so we, we, we more brought the smoke today than chase it because there was, there was no shots involved. But uh, the show again, y'all check out other videos. We got a lot of things up there. We got more things coming always. And, you know, so we grinding this year, trying to go to shows, try to you know, y'all join the Patreon, uh, help us get to these shows for sure sooner rather than later. Probably definitely not WrestleMania, but uh, right, so other we, shows. We can do some meet and greets. You know what I mean, but yes, sir. like I said, always be yourself.